Hello everybody and welcome back to Chef Sherry's Plant-Based Kitchen. You may have noticed that I have been absent for the last month. I have been traveling and just taking care of some personal things, but I'm back today, July 4th. Happy July 4th to everyone. I pray that we have a peaceful July 4th. Uh, I was just watching the memorial of the Highland Park uh, massacre last July 4th. We live like 10 minutes from there. And I just pray for a more peaceful country where we love each other and we aren't hurting each other the way we do so much in this country. But I thought today on July 4th, I would do something nice for my husband, Dale, whom I love very much. Um, and he loves carrot cake. And I know I made a carrot cake once before. It was Kim Campbell's carrot cake from Plant Pure Nation, which is excellent. But my friend Mary Jo Wenkes sent me a video of this man whose name is Javant, and his YouTube channel is Healthy Vegan Eating. Um, check it out. He's an excellent recipe creator and cook, and she sent me his carrot cake recipe. And what I found interesting about it is it doesn't use any whole wheat flour. It uses almond flour and oat flour. So it's a real healthy version. Um, so those that can't eat wheat, you're safe. Um, you can use a non-dairy milk, like almond milk, you use that. I used soy milk today because I didn't have any almond milk made. And what else? And it uses dates. And I've been preaching um, the benefits of using dates over any kind of other sugar for a long time now. So this is only date, uh, date syrup it uses and some whole dates. So let me show you how to make it. Now we're gonna get it in the oven and we're not gonna see the cake, but you know what a cake looks like. You pull it out, let it cool, and then we're gonna ice it. So I'm gonna show you how to get the cake in the oven. Then I'm gonna make the great icing that's going to go on top of it once it's cooled. So the first thing we're going to do is take all the wet ingredients and we're going to put them in a bowl. So I had to make carrot puree. Now, he said to use two medium-sized carrots to get a cup of puree. Didn't work for me. I had to use about four carrots. So I don't know if his idea of medium and mine are different, but here's what I would advise you. Because you're probably going to want to make this cake again, I would do six carrots and steam them until they're soft and then use your Vitamix blender or uh, a food processor to puree them and then put the rest in the freezer so you won't have to do it again. That was the only part that took a long time because I had to do it twice and I still didn't get a cup of puree. So he says that you can use applesauce as well, and, but he doesn't want to because he wants to maintain this carrot taste, but we want it to be moist, so I'm going to add enough to make a cup. Sorry, Jared. Uh, Javant, I'm sorry, wrong name, Javant. So here it goes, I'm gonna put it in with, um, also with one and a half cups of grated carrots. So that goes together. So these are our wet ingredients. And then we're gonna take three fourth cup of date syrup, and you can buy this online or make your own with medjool dates. It's just dates and water, and you blend it until it's this consistency, like a syrup. So let's get all that in. And I'm gonna watch this guy's channel, um, Javon's channel, because he makes some excellent sauces, I've heard. And I'm always looking for great sauces to put on top of vegetables and beans. So I'm gonna be checking that out. So you check it out too. Then we're going to add our non-dairy milk, and I'll put this recipe on the site under the discussion section so you don't have to worry about how much. We're putting that in. Then we're going to add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And see how I have everything ready to go so I don't have to think. We've got some vanilla. And that's it. And our flax egg. So I took some flax, two tablespoons of flax, flax meal with six tablespoons of water, and let it sit for a long time. So see how nice and thick it is? Add that in. And we stir it up. We have to combine this, so I'll just do this quickly so it's all mixed together. So you've got your carrots that have been grated along with your pureed carrots, so it's going to have a real sweet carrot taste. Dale, how come this is your favorite cake of all cakes? I don't know. It just uh, it really tastes good, and I, I, I enjoy it. It's, what, what can I say? Okay. Well, you just said it. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, there we go. Our wet ingredients are done. Now we move on to the dry ingredients. 
I made my oat flour. I just take um, whole oats, like oatmeal, and put it into the Vitamix, and you need about two and a fourth cups of it, so there it is. Here's my almond flour we'll mix in. Next, we're gonna do our, where did it go? Where did I put that? Oh, it must be in here. Yeah, I put all the dry ingredients together. We've got baking powder, baking soda, a little bit of salt, cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg, and so it's all in there. There you go. So I'm just gonna mix these guys together. And then we're gonna pour the wet ingredients into the dry, and that's it. So it's really not a hard cake to make, you know? It's pretty simple. But we wanna make sure it's blended, all these dry ingredients. And then I love what he said to do at the very end. So after you put your, your nice icing on, the, it's called a cream cheese frosting, and it's not really cream cheese, but that's what it's called. We're gonna put some walnuts that I chopped up. I'm gonna drizzle them on top, along with some cinnamon, so it'll look really pretty and taste really delicious. Now we take our wet ingredients, and we're gonna add them to the dry. So there we go, there's half of them. Let's mix this in. I was laughing because when I wrote the recipe out, I put down um, one half cup of baking soda, and thank goodness my brain kicked in, and I said, hold on, that can't be right. It was a half teaspoon. Oh my gosh, I would have ruined the whole cake. But I knew you wouldn't do that to a cake. So I've got it right now, you don't have to worry. Okay, so there's that, let's add some more. Let's get it all in there. So today's a real warm day here in Chicago. Maybe we'll go swimming over at the pool, you think, Dave? Maybe. Maybe. Um, we just got back from a wonderful two weeks in California with our daughter, son-in-law, and our sweet little Zoe, our granddaughter, who is three, who was a riot. She took up running with Dale last week. She saw him running. She said, I want to run. So off she went with him, and they did it quite a bit, didn't you? Sure did. What do you think of her running style? She is a real uh, athlete. She is. And good with the soccer ball, too. I couldn't Excellent. believe it. Excellent, yep. She played soccer for the first time, and she was kicking that ball. I couldn't keep up with her. So I think we've got a little athlete in the family there. So there it is. It looks nice. Okay, I think I've got most of it combined. One more good stir around here. Get the stuff from the bottom. That's where, Oh, it smells really good. Can you smell it, Dale? Here, take a smell. Yep. <laughs> smells good. It smells like carrot cake. It does. Okay, so we're going to put it into my little uh, round pan here that I put some round parchment paper in. And I'll take this big spatula so I can use this. And then we'll make the icing once we throw this in the oven. And then the icing, you want it to cool anyway, so I'll stick it in the refrigerator afterwards, and it will be ready. So here we go. Let's dump this in. Yeah, don't forget that carrot trick, because that was not easy to have to um, steam carrots and then puree them. Because the more you have in your blender, the easier it is to puree. When you have a small amount, it's tough. <laughs> So there we go, put that down. Just spread this around a little. Wow, that looks really nice. And I like that it's in a round pan. I think that's pretty. Get it nice and flat. And I mean, this is a healthy, healthy carrot cake, which is what we want, right? Right. Okay, so let's throw this into the oven and it cooks for 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. Here. And I'll put on 25 minutes. That's it. Now, let me just wash my hands real quickly. I'll be right back. Okay, now it's time for the cream cheese frosting. So what I did is I took one and a half cups of cashews and I soaked them for two hours. So you have to think ahead a little bit. They're nice and soft now. We're going to put them into the Vitamix. And then you can take the applesauce and get rid of that. Then we're going to take um, a half cup of, I have light coconut milk here. Put that in. It has less fat in it than the, the regular coconut milk. Then we're going to take some lemon juice, two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Again, I keep that in my freezer. I freeze them in little containers. We're going to add some vanilla. 
And then six pitted medjool dates. These are real soft. He said, use real soft ones, and they are. We get ours at Costco, and I find they are the freshest because they sell out so quickly, so they never have a chance to really get, you know, old or stale. So let's get those in. And that's it. So let's see if we need the tamper for this. Let's try it and see first. So I'm going to put the tamper in, we'll help it along. Let me take a quick peek. Oh, that's really good. That's going to taste good. Um, I'm going to do just one more round of this just to try and incorporate it a little bit more. It's very like and we'll put it in a bowl here. I can't tell you how nice it tastes. It's so sweet. Let me just grab this. Okay, put it in this bowl. Get my applesauce out of the way. Looks like icing, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And I think it's even better once we cool it in the fridge a little bit. I don't think we're going to need so much. I don't know if we need all this. Wow. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it did blend it very well. It's very creamy. But I do want it to get uh, cold, though, so it'll be easier to spread. Thanks a lot. We might have to, some of this to freeze. I don't know if we need all this for the cake. about the Vitamix. It's hard to get this stuff out at the end. I wonder if we could use the extra for something else. What would you use it for? I don't know. <laughs> Frosting for something else, maybe. Yeah. Or you could just eat it plain. That was what I was thinking. I was thinking you were thinking that. Okay, just get that off of there one more time, and I think we're good. All right, so here's what it looks like. That's the frosting, and it's super, super sweet. So again, I wish you all the best today on July 4th. I hope you're with family and friends and enjoying yourselves. And hopefully I'll be back in not too long, back in the kitchen with some more great recipes. Have a wonderful day, everyone. So long for now.